Come here, you piece of tr Come here. Okay, that actually killed it. Where's the other one? Where are you, fat bastard? I can you where the hell is that signal path? That's hilarious. Okay. First things first, boys. We're going to go and we're going to try to save Michaela. So maybe we didn't date. Maybe it's just the fact that I knew about her condition. Gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor back up. The turbines are hydrogen cool. Now they're leaking. You take a shot and it's your last. It'll be like shooting a grenade at your feet, or worse. I think she's talking about the. Pardon me. Warning: dangerous level of yep. explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks Hello. until repairs can be made. Okay, so that's good to know. All right. Well, we're gonna go to the exterior because we gotta find her office to grab her medication. Okay, okay. <gasps> Never mind. I, I love how the door shows that it's unlocked. Okay, have you seen Jean? Um, hey, Miguel, could you help me locate Jean Fair? I know she's not on your crew roster, but I asked her to come down from life support to check on the power converter for the climate systems. We've been getting complaints about faulty AC all day. She went down a couple hours ago, but I haven't heard from her since. I can't reach her on her on can't reach her on transcribe. Michaela. Yeah, poor yeah, she she did. I'll ask around and keep my eye out. I'll, I'm sure she'll turn up. Lopez. See me. Mika, we need to talk. Drop on my office when you get a chance. Ah. of Talos 1, Dr. Igwe. You are correct. You are one of the few survivors. I... yes. It's... wait. Is that fabricator functioning? I might be able to make use of it. With your permission, Mo... Uh, January. You have authorization to work at the station, Dr. Igwe. For what? And manufacture anything that will assist Morgan in containing the Typhon. I'll remain here in your office until you return, Morgan. I may be able to be of use. Huh. Well, it's probably a good thing I saved him. But what's he gonna manufacture? Him, you? Oh, you make me so mad sometimes. You never listen to me. See what I mean? It sounds like they were dating. <gasps> Aha! I knew turning on that thing would work. Would help. Operator dispenser. Okay, don't care about that. I want what's on the other side of this. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, now out of curiosity, what's in here? Okay, I see a few shinies. Uh, some hypos. We don't really care about, but that's all right. All right, Michaela, I got your medicine. You owe me. Okay. 
warnings, dangerous level of explosive oh, gas God. detected. Morgan, Please evacuate and you surprise the hell out of me sometimes. Until repairs can be made. Please, right at the neck. Just look for the marks. <coughs> it was harder when I was doing it myself. Hello, nice <gasps> to see you. I don't know what the auto's for. Oh God, I can breathe again. And feel my legs. Still have some spots in the eye, but those should clear up. Thanks, Morgan. That's it. Nice work, Morgan. <laughs> You'll make junior engineer yet. <laughs> now, get to the lift, but be careful. No telling what got stirred up in the shake. I'll follow when I can. Meet you at your office. All open flames or sparks until repairs cool. can be made. You better meet me at my office, damn it. Ooh, I Grant Lockwood. Let's see if we can find Grant Lockwood, boys. Oh. I wondered how you would react to finding Michaela. You risked your life to help her. It makes me think the Neuromod extraction didn't erase everything. Not completely. Perhaps particularly strong memories still leave faint impressions. Intuitive feelings. Or maybe you're simply more compassionate than I expected. Are you sure it wouldn't have been better to? I don't mean to be insensitive. But when she finds out you intend to destroy Talos One, she might react strongly Hello. given that Are there's no way off the station. You might have a point, but for now, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh. Guess I see where all that trans star money goes. Chief Ilyushin, you're alive. Ike, you made it. Chief Engineer Ilyushin. What the hell, Morgan? Is that? No, no, that is. I am January, Morgan Yu's personal operator. Talk about loving the sound of your own voice. <laughs> so it's the three of us, four of us. Anyone else from the labs or psychotronics? Is that Morgan's workstation and the fabricator? Chief Ilyushin. Please do not. Morgan, come up here when you get a chance. Huh. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. I hope they didn't die. No, come on, man. Oh, come on. Recycler's where you said it would be, Chief. But the Typhon organisms are all over the place. I might be able to- No, the Recycler's part of it. We need more firepower than just our PPNs to cut our way through. We'd need eradicator turrets, and that's why we need the Recycler and the Fabricator plans. Huh. Catch-22. What? Well, you know, chicken and the egg. Which came first? You can't have one without the other, so... Austin. Yes, yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Look, it doesn't matter, God, though. Dude. The power's down in here. The Class 4 power circuit, the blast and fuel storage must have damaged the connection. Hold on. Keep position by the catwalk. Morgan Yu may be joining us shortly. Keep an eye out for him. Morgan? I thought I felt a chill. Didn't we have an inspection just last week? Send him to me. And stay alert. At least not everybody died. Sarah's still alive. You got to Micah, thank God. I wasn't sure she'd be able to hold out. Oh, yeah, this is technically part of it. What the fuck is that? Note Q. Can't thank you enough for the risk you're taking on my behalf. Um, on behalf, on behalf of the volunteers who no longer have a voice in this, the thought of you co uh, cooped up in that cargo container, hurling toward the earth, it kills me. Even though Will says it's safe and that you'll have plenty of food, all of the evidence on this thumb drive cannot make amends for everything that's happened. But exposing the truth can prevent it from happening again. Thank you, my friend. Annalise Gallegos. Oh, Quentin Purvis. Okay, so it was the food that was kind of fucking around. So Annalise Gallegos' thumb drive. 
Excerpt from readme text file found on Annalise Gallego's thumb drive. The drive in your possession contains incriminating evidence related to illegal experiments performed aboard Talos 1 in the psychotronics lab. This includes, but is not limited to, classified internal memorandums, uh, key research data spanning several decades, names and roles of all personnel involved, volunteer IDs matched with their real names. The vision will corroborate the existence of an extraterrestrial species called Typhon, as well as the fact that all neuromods are made at the expense of human victims. I harbor no illusions that this will be easy to believe, but I can testify to its veracity, assuming I'm still alive, because I was a participant in many of the experiments referenced. Oh, wow. Well, now we got the info. That one's complete. Aha! Now I can actually hear him. Now I can move free. You, not so much. You are in life support. A job there, I think. Eel tanks. Where your trust star food comes from. Chopped up and made new colors. Connected to septic system. A job there too, I think. Okay, I, I think what he was referring to is the fact that the eels that we eat eat the shit that we poop. Oh, it's the lift. That's what it... Okay. Ah, you son of a bitch. Like hell, I'm gonna fall for that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, what now? I know your shit's there. And I'm gonna disarm. He's probably gonna call me. We'll give it a second. Well, he didn't call me on the... When I did the... Operator, so he, he's probably not gonna call me. Okay, we're gonna let our flashlight recharge a bit. There's just a bunch of blood here. It's crazy how there's a bunch of blood here, but there's no body. I volunteered. I've never interview with a trans star volunteer. I'm not the same man I was two years ago. Alexei Petrov told me. Talos 1 has a way of changing you, rebuilding you into a better person. <laughs> I, I smell bullshit. Petrov, along with three other members of the Menshevik movement, arrested and convicted of the 29 Red Square attacks, which uh, killed 32 people. All four men were sentenced to death. However, just two weeks from his execution, Petrov was approached by tech giant Transtar. The company offered him a second chance as part of a new program called Transtar Volunteer Initiative. Uh, Petrov was given um, the opportunity to work as a human test subject in exchange for a commuted sentence. They tell me, come to our space station, work with us on top secret science projects, give back to the world from which you have taken so much. So I did, Petrov said. I, I'm glad I did. Petrov isn't allowed to talk about the work he did on Talos 1. But there's no denying he's a changed man. The former secondary school dropout is now working on a doctorate in astrophysics and says he hopes to work for Transfar one day. Transstar one day. Okay, that's actually awesome. If it's true. But based off of everything we've seen so far, I smell bullshit. Nice. There we go. We got power. Oh, the computers are back. That's right. So I can look at the computers. Volunteer attitude. Um, that's a good one. I'm going to need more support. Uh, Bianca, good one. Wait, what? Uh, more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. The morning, this morning, 16 threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let them out to stretch the, stretch his legs. Um, when you get up here, the key code is 5361, not the old number on file. Pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. John, thanks for reaching out. I've asked Chief Elazar to send a team to do a quick once-over of the premises to ensure that you are absolutely safe during the next shift. Obviously, the safety of both the volunteers and our security staff is our number one priority. We've, unfortunately, can't post any more security personnel to this location at the time, but we're looking to expand our security staff and maybe be able to revisit this issue in the future. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, well, that's a little, little too little too late. Hang on. The you family caused much trouble on Earth. Now they play with the stars and expect not to burn. I wondered why you opened us to the chamber. Make us see a horizon. Sharp. Razored. 
Hungry? You surround yourself with machines, with things. They cannot keep you safe. They will eat you as well after they eat you. Maybe I take your suit. Hmm? Become MU. Get shuttle access. Email. Send help, please. We're locked in here. Graves has overridden the door locks, and there's no way out of fabrication. We're in the research office upstairs. I'm with Snow and Divya. Divya's dead right there. Graves', Graves light is on. I can see him moving around in his office, but he's not responding. All right, boys. I think I may have found a way to get through here. Oh, oh, okay. Where the hell does this go? Wait, 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 wait. Am I in? Wait, where the hell am I? Okay, never mind. I don't know where I'm at. Wait, am I? Oh, am I a fucking fabrication? No, I'm not. No. Shit, I don't know where the hell I'm at. I, I, I might, I might be. It's really close. I don't know where the hell I'm at. Let's fi we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you thought I couldn't get in here, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't count on. Oh. Oh, nope, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. What you didn't count on was a bunch of fucking nerds. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? Hmm. Fuck yeah. Give me that. Give my my little bolt back. Oh, well. He's dead. You know synthetic organic exotic materials? Receptor molecules. Non-terrestrial? Oh no, he was looking into it. It all comes from them. Get it out now. He discovered the truth. Oh, man. He discovered the truth of the neuromods. Neuromod fabrication plan. There they are. Semlab secure. Well, except for Igwe, but he'll be up all night. Speaking of up, did you see the photos of his daughter Maya? That's not his daughter. It's his wife. Are you kidding me? No, she died. Well, when Igwe was younger, it's in his records. Christ, you've seen his records? Yeah. During the security checks, looking for those red flag sykes that the brass is up in arms about? Apparently, came home, found her dead on the floor. Aneurysm. Spend your life studying the brain. The brain takes its toll. With everything else going on at the time, with the shaming... Christ. You already said that, but I don't think he heard you. He's not looking at this station, that's for sure. Alex, I figured it out. Just too late. Graves, are you still in fabrication? The receptor molecules, the exotic neurotransmitters, we didn't synthesize them. And there's no terrestrial source. Graves. Don't do anything drastic. You know me. You know I always have a contingency plan. We've been shoving it into our skulls. It all comes from them. But you, you never- I'm going to send someone to help you. I need to get this out now. Oh God, but the neuromods, they can still be fabricated. Graves, do not touch the neuromod licenses. Do you hear me? That's what happened. That's why he put the light, he put that uh, thing on there. Because he figured it out. Oh, no. So then my question is, is, did he kill himself? Or did someone kill him? Because it looks almost like someone killed him. Time for the emails. Exotic materials. Um, Helen, from Helen Croft to Helen Graves. Well, then where do, you, where do you think it comes from? You're sitting on the station's largest store of it, and you haven't won wondered what it is. Um... 
they have us injecting into our frontal lobes. You're brilliant, Graves, but you have the mind of an engineer. Good at answering questions, but not asking them. Second guessing the use never struck you until, until you saw that report from Psychotronics, did it? Missing neuromods. We have four neuromods here in the test labs. We received four, signed, signed for four, and there are four in our secured storage. You're saying you shipped seven. I advise you to take it up with security and your delivery personnel. This isn't the first time neuromods have gone missing somewhere between fabrication and testing. Huh. Utilities. Fabrication doors. Fabrication department is a class 1000 clean room. Operate doors of caution. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, unlock doors. Neuromod licenses. Each neuromod SKU requires a new license that must be propagated. Cross fabricator network service. Do not issue new licenses without director authorization. Yeah, we're going to renew those. Heh, <laughs> lol. Got it. Alright, boys, we can make more neuromods now. Oh, this poor bastard, though. I, I really do kind of feel sorry for you, man. It's just a shame. Alright, boys, so I've been kind of running around collecting a bunch of shit and using recycler charges to basically break everything up. Um, I've made a ton of neuromods and upgraded myself uh, quite a bit. So, anyways, but that's basically where I'm going to end it, go ahead and end it for tonight, I think. Um, next thing I'm going to do is probably going to go ahead and I'm going to try to find Josh Dalton down in Guts. That one might be a little bit difficult because I'm, there's a, last time I was down there, there was a ton of Typhon. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, but I'll let you guys go. Have a good one. Peace. Bye.